Hey guys and girls, Mark here from Sea World Earth and welcome back finally to some Talking Head videos. Today I'm going to show you very quickly how we can white balance log footage from your GoPro Hero 12 and take it from looking like horrible, bland, washed out rubbish to a beautiful, saturated underwater uh, wonderland. Now quickly I must uh, apologise, we've got a bit of a storm over us at the moment Aeroplanes are taking off all the time. Um, we're in a quite a noisy area. So if you do hear, do hear any background noise, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. We're going to jump into Final Cut Pro and I'm going to show you now how to take care of log footage, get it looking beautiful. Let's go. OK, well, here we are in Final Cut Pro again. And this time I've got a clip of um, footage that I shot <clears throat> in log. Um, and as you can see, it looks absolutely um, so horrible and bland, very flat, no color, um, no hardly any contrast. Um, so we're going to fix all that, all of that here with a couple of um, uh, mouse clicks. First off, as always, I was shot in 4K 120, so I'm going to slow that down a little bit, boom, just to get the uh, the speed that I like for it underwater. Have a look at that. Yep. I like that, much prefer it. And again, sadly, making the most of the coral bleaching that we've got. There's a couple of steps that we need to go through now. And the first one, we're going to go over to the effects um, control panel. And in the color segment, I've got a custom LUT option here. I'm going to drag and drop that onto the footage, which then opens up the custom LUT um, option box in the top and a drop down menu. When I click on that, there's lots of little uh, LUTs in there um, that I can apply to the footage. Now, what is a LUT? A LUT is a lookup table and it's a series of calculations um, that are then applied to the footage in order to allow it to, to conform to what is called Rec 709 or broadcast uh, quality footage, or at least the gamut for the color um, that is then corrected until you get to a an acceptable um, color gamut for broadcast. Okay, so in the first instance, I'm going to add a LUT. And what you can see here is GoPro 12 LUT. Okay, now if you go to the GoPro website, because you are now able to film in 10 bit um, high bit rate footage uh, uh, settings with the GoPro uh, and in log footage, what you can do then is use the LUT that is available on their website. All I need to do is click that. I don't particularly like what this gives me at 100%, so I always use it at 80%. Okay, uh, and that is still looks a little bit weird, but we're halfway there. Now we're going to balance the color. So we give that, and you can see now straight away, um, it's given a much different look, a much nicer look to the footage. You've got that deep, rich blue of the of the ocean in the background, and you've got color to an extent on the near reef. OK, now, unfortunately, again, we're going to make the best use of this bleached coral. So I've just scrolled to an area where I know this is a very good and very white piece of coral uh, that we can use in this instance. So up here, as opposed on the balance color setting, as opposed to automatic, I'm going to go to white balance, set it manually. OK, now the footage will revert back to how it was. You'll see now that the um, my mouse has changed to a paint dropper and it can you can see it down here to set the white balance, click or drag over an area that should be pure white. And we know that this area on the reef is pure white. So let's go and drag it across there. Boom. And you can see exactly as the instance that I changed. Boom. You can see that there is a very vast difference to the aesthetic of this clip. OK, so that's how you set uh, white balance with using um, log footage. Uh, it is very flat, so you have to uh, balance the color and then use an automatic uh, balance mode. OK, and then just click onto a white reference area um, on your footage. Now you can carry a plastic, white plastic um, square with you underwater and just film that um, before you turn your camera to the point of interest. Um, but unfortunately for us now in Okinawa, we can actually use the coral uh, because of the amount of bleaching that's going on on the reef. Hopefully that will change in the future. But for now, um, this is how I can easily and quickly accomplish white balance using log footage here in Okinawa. 
So how cool was that? Pretty good. Um, and for, for those of you that are using the GoPro Hero 12 uh, Black uh, for the first time uh, and are able to shoot with um, log uh, profiles, I will be d diving into more of that a bit later in a upcoming video. Uh, but for today, I just wanted to get that out of the way just so if you are using log or if you're not using log, um, to show you how you shouldn't need to be too scared about it, okay? Because it is an incredible way to shoot. It's a nice way to be able to get that kind of like sense of more manual control over your footage. So it's all good for the future. But anyway, so all that remains is for me to say all the best, stay happy, safe, sane if you can. Above all, stay healthy, get out and enjoy shooting. And hopefully very soon I'll have some more updates for you with regards to my adventures with shooting log footage on the GoPro Hero 12 underwater. Not really using it above water too much at the moment, but uh, that may change. Never know. Keep them peeled. Watch this space.